Welcome back po sa ating lecture room. And today is our live session, Q&A January 21, 2024 po. And yes, dito tayo sa ating uh, viral video. Pag-uusapan natin. Let's make a reaction on this. No? Uh, viral video. Relative scene taking dead uh, woman's thumbprint in car for wheel. Thumb mark, no? patay na. <laughs> well, uh, this happened in India Actually, in 2021 ito At uh, this was updated on April 11, 2023 Well, ang kwento po dito is that um, Yung may mag-asawa um, Walang anak And then, yung Nauna namatay yung lalaki And then, next yung babae Yung namatay na lalaki, may mga kapatid siya no? So, nung namatay po yung asawa Ito na mga brother-in-law, sabi ng mga brother-in-laws. Uh, ako na kami na magdala dito sa ano sa morgue or hospital kay baka makaya pa doon. You know? well, along the way, tumawag pala sila ng abogado at nagpa ipa thumb mark ng uh, nagtigil sila sa isang lugar at nagpa thumb mark para sa isang last will and testament. At sa ganun, nakuha nga nila ang properties and yung shop to, sa India ito. So, yes po, no? ito, itong tao na ito dito, ano yan, uh, abogado yan. <laughs> eh, i, 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 ano natin, eh, palaki natin. Eh, ano, kita mo, hawak-hawak niya yung kamay ng patay at pinapatamark niya. Ito yung another portion. Kita niyo nakahandu sa yung patay. Patay na yun sa likod eh. So, that's what happened. And, manood rin po natin mamaya ang full video, no? So, it's very, ano, very frightening in the sense that hindi makaya, <laughs> hindi makaya itong ganitong gawa. <laughs> so, sobra ito. Um, I seen the lawyer did this one and uh, I don't know ito. <laughs> sobra, nakakatindig ng banihipo. <laughs> like, nakuha pa talaga sa video. And meron palang ganun. Uh, never in my life for 25 years that I have encountered this kind of situation. And I have seen, you know, while, while researching for the topic sana for uh, today's uh, live natin, by nakita ko itong video na ito. So, ito po yung video na kinawa ko rin sa YouTube. Ito yung isa lang itong video ha, sa buong YouTube. Okay, let us see uh, about kinitong situation. Ha. Okay, panoodin po natin. You know, patay oh. <laughs> Klarong klaro. Ayan ang lawyer oh naka tinanggal lang ang ano ang coat naka best pa oh yun pinatam mark na OMG <laughs> sobra bye sigurado ko itong bugado nito disbarred nito <laughs> made disbar ito and yung pinirma na last wheel ngayon, tinamark na last wheel, ah, void yan. Nalin void yan. 100%. Ayan, no? tapos na. Tapos tuloy na sila doon. And they were able to get the property by virtue of that wheel. No? Kasi nga, may thumb mark. No? And what's funny kasi, nagreklamo yung isang kamag-anak, bakit nag thumb mark daw yung namatay na marunong namang pumirma? Yan yeah, ang question. So, at any rate, uh, definitely, aside from this, uh, yung document, of course, the last will and testament, null and void yun. Walang visa yun. Automatic yan. Pag-i-file yan ng kaso korte, uh, null and void yan. And uh, yung gumawa ng kalokohan na ganyan, yung abogado, aside from being madisbar, pati yung mga brother-in-laws na gumawa nun, eh, talagang magbabayad ng damages plus makukulong pa po yan sila. Meron po kulong provision. Kulong provision because this is a uh, falsification of a public document no? and of course uh, it, it it's falsification because it appeared doon na buhay pa yung tao at siya ang pumirma, hindi naman siya well remember when making a contract po, no? it is always that uh, yung mental faculties no, gumagawa is is uh, okay no? in, in fact, yun nga patay eh, siyempre wala na siyang, <laughs> hindi siya makagawa in fact yung mga comatose yung mga issues on yung mga uh, hindi nila alam ko anong ginagawa nila yung pipirman lang yung parang meron ng degenerative disease sa brain ha yun yung mga hindi yun sila makapirma no so if you really want them to sign because let's say may sale or 
transfer. But then you have to go to court, no? And get a court order. Guardianship, then you ask for a court order. Sabi sa court that uh, needed po mabenta itong property na ito because we need to, you know, use it para dito sa uh, may sakit po na matanda. Yung mga technically, meron po kasing procedure. Huwag po i-shortcut. <laughs> Alam mo, uh, meron ding uh, situation wherein sa uh, amin, no? I have encountered about twice in my career wherein I was requested to have a to notarize a document no a sale transaction ang isa naman last will and testament doon sa hospital now the rule is that under the rules on notarial practice kailangan po magawa sila ng letter request for the lawyer to go there no otherwise kung walang letter request ay hindi po kami mag ano niyan mag pirma magpunta doon sa area no the letter request no then Uh, with that, with a letter request, uh, we could go. Because under the rules of notarial practice, hindi po kami pwedeng lumabas sa aming opisina para mag-notarize. Unless on special occasion, yung mag, mag, ano kami, mag, mag-take out kami sa mga maraming, uh, yung mga, yung sa mga events. No? Or, yun nga, na-request kami pumunta sa specific part, no? house, kung hindi makapunta na yung, yung pipirma, Katulad nito, sa aking example, yung hospital. So, when I went there, usually what I do is that uh, I bring my staff and meron talag po akong video recorder. Mini-video ko po talaga yan. And besides, pagdating doon is uh, the moment the, the, the paper is there, that's say gawa na and everything. I always ask uh, the first thing that I will ask for the person to to say, you know, sabihin ko sa kanya, ano pong pangalan ninyo? Tapos hindi ko pa sa pa kausapin yung mga sa tabi ng bed no. Hindi pwedeng pa kausapin. Huwag po kayo magsalita. Siya lang po kausap ko. And naka-video 'yan. Nagkikita tayo yung video talaga, no? Ano pong pangalan niyo, Lola? Ako po si Juana de la Cruz. Ah, okay. Eh ito pong pinapunta po ninyo ako dito. Meron po kayong letter dito uh, through your children eh, regarding po ito sa isang dokumento na gusto niyong notaryuhan ko sa harapan sa harapan ko kay Pumirma at notaryohan ko. Ya, opo, sir. Ah, okay. Alam niyo po ba anong dokumento nito? Ay, yan po, sir, is a uh, uh, last will and testament or deed of sale po yan. Ah, okay. So, deed of sale po na alam niyo po itong binibenta niyo or itong last will na ginawa niyo is uh, kailangan po meron tayong tatlong witnesses na magtingin dito habang ginagawa para po ma- maging valid ito, no? Or kung deed of sale man or deed of donation, no? Sige po, sir. Yun, yun, yun na-satisfy ang aking um, ang aking sarili na talagang mayroong ang mental faculties niya okay pa. So, naintindihan po niyo no? ang property involved po, nandito po located sa Makati, gano'n, etc. Example. Then, I will also get the valid identification. So, and continuous ang videos. Ha? Continue ang video talagang nakafocus talaga sa amin. Talagang it is a solemn act and uh, talagang ginagawa talaga yun na para maging valid. And I keep that video. I give that to the children. At the same time, I'll keep mine. In case they throw on somebody questions, mayroon ako mapakita na video. Eh, to, not only to protect the the parties, but also to protect me. Kasi, basta mga ganyan, delikado yan. Lalo na kapag tamark. Kasi meron po tayong mga rules on tamark. No? Hindi po basta-basta na uh, magpatamark lang. O sige, tamark ka na. Itamark nyo na. Hindi, hindi po pwede ganun. Uh, in fact, ang lawyer mismo ang mag-supervise ng tamark. Kung pwede nga, kami ang mag-tamark talaga sa kanya. Tutulungan namin siya para mag-tamark. Alright, so, I will discuss about this, uh, further about this tamark. No? Para at least mag- magkaintindihan natin. So, ito po yung tamark. No? <coughs> Now, sa tamark po, meron po ang dapat tabi niya, no? Merong tamark sa isang kontrata is that meron pong nakasulat na ganito, no? Tamark affixed by Juan de la Cruz. Example, no? In the presence of the undersigned notary public, ako po yun, no? Notaryo, and two disinterested and unaffected witnesses. Kailangan po may pangalan. Like, for example, ito, Jane Ria, si Jude Roman, at pipirma po sila na nakita po nila ang pagpirma. Sila po yung tiyatawag nating witnesses to Tamark, no? Yun lang ka lang titignan, witnesses to Tamark. Now, each and every page, merong, merong ano, merong uh, tamark at the same time sa tabi noon merong ganito kung tatlong pages yung tatlong ganito rin sa deed of sale deed of donation and in all contracts 
even affidavits for that matter. Kasi, yun pong pag tamark is a very important uh, thing. Kasi, uh, anybody could tamark kung komatos, pwede na ikanon, di ba? So, ako naman, I make really sure, pag tamark lang sabi, ah, ako talaga ang mag, ano, talagang titingnan ko talaga at binibidyohan ko, no? especially if it involves some contracts, no? even contract of priest, mortgage, donation, sales, and everything. Now, how about in uh, Last Will and Testament? Ito, madugo ito eh, kasi ang pinaka strict po na document po, no? ito pong deed of donation at saka Last Will and Testament, no? natatawag natin notarial will. No? Yan ang pinaka pong delikadong document kasi may konting pagkakamali niyan at ma-reduce ang, ang instrument into a private writing dahil defective ang pagka-notarize, magiging void po. Yes, pati ang sa deed of donation and Last Will na notarial. Yeah, very careful po na i-follow po talaga step by step ito. And so of course, kung meron kayong uh, ginagawang ganito, you have to check also if this kind of protocols eh, nagawa po ng abogado para naman at least uh, ma-sure kayo that at the end of the day, hindi kayo mapapalpak. Okay? So, um, let us try to discuss. Let's say, last will and testament. No? Eh, sa last will and testament, uh, tabi mo natin itong isa, ang Ang signature, of course, nandito kay Juan de la Cruz. No? Last will and testament of Juan de la Cruz. 76 years old daw siya. I just made it para lang, let's say, bank account lang niya. Hindi na, actually, pwede mga properties and everything. Mas mahaba pa yan. But I just made a simple one. So, sa baba po, nakita niyo si Juan de la Cruz, the stator. At meron siyang ID. Senior citizen ID or yung national ID niya. Nandito example. So, I said that, ang um, pirma niya nasa ibabaw ng kanyang, of course, doon, no? Sa babaw ng Juan de la Cruz. And, I, talagang i ano yan, tatabark. Sometimes kami po ang mag-assist or the staff ko in my presence and under my supervision and uh, meron po yung sinasabi kong thumb mark affixed by these uh, witnesses to thumb mark. Now, take note, aside from that, binibidyo ko pa po. And may I make sure na yung mental faculties ng tao is that alam niya kung anong ginagawa niya kasi hindi, pwedeng hindi niya alam. O lola, dito na tayo pirma. So, naintindihan niyo po ito. Oh, po. So, mag-tamark -tam tayo, ha? Dahil hindi na kayo makapirma. Dahil medyo nanginginig na ang kamay po ninyo, no? Baka malakas kayo magkape. May isang nakausap-kausap ko ba? Ah, hindi naman po, attorney. Ay, talagang matanda na. O, oh, sige, ha? Itong last will and testament mo, ha? Pipirma na. Ganon. Ganon ang ginagawa ko. So, in that particular instance, uh, they will be able to, I will be able to uh, establish the fact na talagang alam niya ang ginagawa niya. Along the way, na nare-record din yun sa video. No? It is an evidence to prove in court later on if somebody questions it na ababoard ang pag-transact. No? Now, aside from this uh, two witnesses of Tom Mark, meron po tayo yung tatlo pang pirma. Ito yung tawag kong attestation witnesses. Meron ako mga ibang uh, kanyero na sasabi na yung attestation witnesses pare, pwede naman yun sila ang witness of Tom Mark. Pero ako nanginigurado ako kasi um, sinabi, ibig sa... Sa last will making kasi, iba talaga yung attestation witnesses na tatlo. At sa notarial rule, sinabi namang meron dalawang witness to Tom Mark. So, para ako, I will make sure. But technically, sa ganitong situation, I have five witnesses. Two witnesses for the Tom Mark and three attestation witnesses for the last will and testament. E, wala namang masama. Doon, sobra-sobra witness, no problem with that. Kaysa naman, yung attestation witnesses lang ang gagamitin kong witness para sa Tom Mark. Baka mali later on. Pag ma-question, baka maging defective ang instrument, maging void patuloy ang last will and testament ng kliyente ko. But ano ba itong attestation witnesses? Iba po ang purpose nila with respect sa last will and testament. No? Uh, ito po ang ginagawa nila. They will just uh, simply, for example, ito, no? ito yung mga attestation witnesses. Uh, meron silang attestation clause doon. na wherein they will attest na genuine ang pagkapirma or pagkatamark and they saw it in front of them. Sabi nga dito, uh, this on January 20, 2021, uh, signed by the testator Juan de la Cruz through tamark at the bottom of the instrument with to disinterested and affected with the stake to ta, disinterested and affected with this. Dapat hindi ka mag-anak at walang pakialam doon sa papeles na yun. Yo, wala akong interest. I am no interest on that execution on... Ano man ang transmission of rights hindi ako. Kasi baka yung anak or baka yung mapagbigyan ng property, hindi pwede. Bawal. Wala. Nada. Hindi pwede. Ha? So, dapat totally, total disinterested witness and unaffected witness. And sinasabi po dito na nakita nila nagpirma yung testator through tamark with two witnesses 
Ito sa so, thumb mark and sa left hand margin po, sinasabi nila na sa harapan po ng namin mag kaming tatlo. Eh nagpirma po rin kami sa left side, no. So yun. Um, ito yun, nakita nila yung sa baba yung thumb mark at saka yung witness. At the same time, eh nagpirma sila at nakita nila ang isa't isa na nagpirmahan doon. So ibig sabihin po, um, yung pag thumb mark po nung uh, nung thumb mark nung testator, dapat nakikita nila. And together with the pagpirma ng mga witnesses sa thumb mark. And at the same time, pag sila po nagpipirma, titingnan din nila. The three of them, no? So, ganun po, no? Um, it is a an important situation because ako, nakabidyo talaga yan siya, hindi kinaklaro ko. Oh, kla klaro ha, dapat maghabang nagapirma, nakatutok kayo, titingnan nyo talaga. Walang hindi, walang lumingon sa kabila, walang lumabas, walang bawal. Kung gusto mag-ihi, mag, -ihi, mag -ihi na. Bakit ato? Ni stricto talaga eh. Nag-strict ko talaga lang sir, konting mali lang yan ay talagang magiging defective. Ay, nagpa-probate ako ng will one time. Uh, Doon sa, sa ang RTC judge, eh, talagang pinasit down pa ako sa witness stand to attest what I did. Talagang pinainumerate sa akin ano ginawa. Buti na lang may video ako at pinakita ko, ah, okay, at least pumasok at na-probate ang will. No? Even if there was no contestant or oppositor on that will. So, yun po, no? And... Ang, let's, this is three pages na last video ito, no? So, yan. And dito po, yung last page naman, yung acknowledgement person, eh, sa amin na yan, acknowledgement portion, no? So, nandiyan pa rin yung uh, thumb mark at saka yung witnesses thumb mark at saka yung uh, attestation witnesses na tatlo. Here, in this acknowledgement, we will state that uh, nag-personally appear si Juan de la Cruz at saka yung three instrumental witnesses plus the witnesses to thumb mark na nagbigay sa akin ng valid identification and With that, after uh, acknowledging that they were all in my presence and uh, pirma sila ng three pages and talagang sa isa't isa sa harapan nila, yun ang sasabihin namin, talagang be very careful, no? And that's the time that we will now sign the document and seal it. O, ayan po, ang technique po sa paggawa ng last will. Napakakuti. Kaya ang sabi nila, attorney, magkano ba magpagawa ng last will ngayon? Well, sa taripan ng IBP, Davao City, is, uh, minimum is 30,000. Just because of that um, solving act of doing it, talagang very difficult. So, hindi po ba basta-basta? It is not an ordinary document. It must follow the formalities of the last will and testament under the rules, uh, under the laws. And like deed of the nation, it must follow the forms. No? Uh, deed of the nation naman is simple. Eh? Uh, kailangan, it must be in writing, public document, and accepted within the lifetime of the donor by the donor. No? Ganun naman yun, no? But here, sa last will, ay, tako, very extreme. Pag ma-defective ito po, nada, wala na pong effect ang notarial will. Meron iba, this is the kind of uh, notarial will. Meron pang isang holographic will, di ba? Alam natin yon. you just uh, make a date, write it under your own handwriting, na itong gusto mong mangyari, then you sign, no? It must be pr uh, printed under your own handwriting, dated and signed by you. Okay na yon. Problem lang with that is that uh, there are no witnesses, no? And somebody would say na, oh, diyan, hindi po yan talagang surat kamay ni mama o ni lola. Uh, ano yan? Under pressure, under duty, um, under uh, influence, etc. So, mga things like that. No? Kaya minsan, yan sabi ko, so, dapat mag-ano rin kayo, mag-video kayo. Kasi powerful po na tool and evidence po ang video recordings. No? Ina-accept po talaga ng Supreme Court na is a valid evidence. Because it, it says everything. Unlike a picture uh, or a painting, Uh, it, it says a thousand words, no? <laughs> Iba-ibang interpretation. But a video, uh, especially pag mayroong audio, eh, that explains what it is, no? So, this video, sabihin mo, this is my last will and testament. Ginawa ko ito, wala pong jurist, wala pong nananakot sa akin, walang percent. Ito pong kagustuhan ko. Basahin ko ito, ha? Sa harapan nyo, itong gustuhan ko. Pwede yun, with, together with the paper. Hindi lang pwede po mag last will sa video lang without doing it, ha? Hindi yan po pwede. So, but uh, others, um, in order to be protected and talagang uh, hindi mapalpak, no? kasi if they die, hindi na mabalik, no? is that um, last will testament, they go to a lawyer and make a, what we call a notarial will. Now, take note that this last will and testament may be revoked at any time by the testator kung sunugin niya, ayaw niya ipatuloy, magawa siyang addendum anytime. Dahil hindi pa po nangyayari eh. Kapag nangyayari kasi ito, kapag 
ang mga kondisyon o pagbimigay niya doon sa loob ng last will and testament kapag siya po eh namatay. Pero habang buhay pa siya, at any time she, he or she can revoke it. No? The testator can revoke it dahil karapatan po niya i-revoke yun. Alright, so yan po. No? Ito po yung example ng three pages ng last will and testament which I am showing to you. Ang dami, no? very important. Nandyan yung, kung tamark, nandyan yung mga requirements. No? It's very, very important to follow this. So, wag po natin gilahin itong abogado na ito na madidisbard. <laughs> Disbard ito. Talaga wala. Wag po yan. Uh, dito po tayo sa tamang pamaraan. Um, well, sabi nga nila is that uh, in in a basket of egg, meron talaga isang bulok. No? So, yun, I would say. Ganun na nangyari. No? Hindi naman namin masabi sa ranks namin na 100% clean and upright. No? Meron talaga. Anywhere. Any, any organization, professions and everything, lahat po. Wala po yung exception. Even sa family, may black sheep tayo. Ganun. But uh, nevertheless, uh, akin lang is that uh, you have to look for a legit and uh, genuine and yung competent uh, notary public. Yung totoo. No, yung hindi po yung house show. Huwag na po tayo doon sa bangketa o yung sa recto o dyan sa mga city hall. Eh, hindi man talaga yan sila nag appear sa mabugado. No? Hindi lang nakukumply yung rules of notary practice. It will seriously affect your document and reduces it to a private writing. At kapag did of donation at notarial will siya, automatic void po siya. Kapag may defective notarization. Because sabi nga ng Supreme Court, pag defective notarization, it becomes just a mere It just become a mere private instrument. And ano requirement na batas? Pag last will at saka deed of donation, public document. Therefore, sayang yung effort. Sayang yung ginawa mo pagbigay. No? So, yan. At saka, tandaan po natin yung rule na sa uh, thumb mark. Ha? Uh, very important po itong sa thumb mark, yung two witnesses rule. Witnesses to thumb mark. Na dapat po. At saka yung mental faculties niya is uh, kompleto pa. Meron pa siyang tamang pag-iisip na iintindihan niya, okay? Uh, meron tinatawag din na parang lucid interval. Oh. At the time na pinirmahan niya, talagang lucid siya, nakakaintindi siya. Kaya nga, very important yung video. Ako, I would really suggest that uh, eh, everyone, kung hindi man gawin ng lawyer niyo, kayo pong gumawa. Maybe the permission, sir, uh, i-video namin in order to document everything, kung ano nangyayari, para, you know, to protect ba? So, yan po. Um, I hope so you'll learn something on this uh, reaction, on this viral video na nakita natin. Kaya nag-react ako. Talagang, hindi makaya, panyero. Hindi ko kaya yun. <laughs> Kahit sa, na, na tumatay ang balay buko. Uh, yung, para nanginginig ang naman ko. Just to think of it, na kaya pong gawin ninyo yun. Hindi po kaya namin. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko kaya. Alright, so with that, Um, let us see if we have some um, friends over here uh, watching. Um, let us see. Kung meron na bang mga questions dito sa ating chat box. Oh, so far, wala pa. Ah, meron na. Meron na. Okay. And, but however, before I will start on that, um, what I will do is to check on some, as usual, I'll check on some comments no? dito sa ating uh, YouTube. I will, I will just answer a few questions. No? Uh, tanong ko lang, attorney, sabi ni Hara, Duleste 354. Tanong ko lang, attorney, minana yung asawa ko, kasal kami, lupain, may apat kaming anak, paano po patay na asawa ko, paano po hatihan namin sa lupa, hatiin po ba namin ng balay sa libang hati, Kasi apat nga po anak namin. Sabi po kasi, wala daw po ako. Mga anak na lang po. Hindi, actually, when mana nga ng, ng ano, ng, kapag mana ng asawa mo during the time of marriage, exclusive property niya yan. Diba? O, balik tayo lang muna sa simula. And he can do anything about that uh, piece of property. Could sell it, mortgage it. Wala siyang marital consent na kailangan from you. Hindi niya kailangan yun. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that However, the exception is that kapag mauna siyang mamatay sa'yo, then because under the law says you are a compulsory heir, surviving spouse, compulsory heir ka, then you will inherit. Pero hindi po kayo mag-inherit na malaki. Uh, one share lang po, together with the children. So tama po yung sabi mo, 
Apat po anak nyo, plus kayo. So, there will be divided by 5. Okay. Answer during our live. January 21. Ang ba sa pwedeng ko? Yan. 2024. Please watch. Ang dagyan din ang please watch. Ito naman manood siya. Hindi na. Okay, nice explanation, sabi ni user. Thank you, glad it was helpful. Sagutin natin. And then, sabi ni Philip Nalam, good day attorney. Clarify ko lang po. Ako din po ay illegitimate child. Hindi po kasal ang mama sa papa ko. Patay na po ang papa ko, pati din po ang lolo at lolo ko. Patay na rin po kapatid ng papa ko. Pero may anak din yung kapatid ng kapatid ng persamay nila. Well, of course, uh, meron na nga yung rule ng mana ng apo na illegitimate doon sa kanyang lolo at lolo. May na-break niya, no? Yung iron curtain rule, wala na yan. Uh, doon sa Kino case. Wherein, pwede po. Dahil hindi nga kasalanan ng illegitimate child kung bakit siya naging illegitimate, no? So, pwede. Pwede na po. Okay. Sige. I will copy this one para mabilis. Hmm. And then, a uh, few more questions. Magandang gabi po. Itatanong ko po, may hinulugan pong lote ang anak ko, pero resibo lang po. Hulog bon one ang hawak namin, pero hindi po notary ang resibo. Ano po mangyari doon? Walang problema po. Uh, that is a proof that there was a uh, partial fulfillment of the uh, a contract or of the agreement by the parties. A sale agreement. No? Ibig sabihin, um, there was already a consummation. Consummated din yung transaction. Hindi pa lang finalized no? kasi hindi ka pa man nakapuli pay pero at least uh, pwede mo na ma-insist ang karapatan mo na ikaw na nakabili noon hindi na pwede niya ibili sa iba kahit hindi po notoryado no problem as long as take note basta private document po in order na maniguro lang po tayo meron po kayong witness po talaga sa pagpirma at pagtanggap noon now well if it is an official receipt issued by the BIR ah, wala problema kasi public man yan meron man yung approve na BIR so okay na yan siya But, uh, if it is just a piece of paper, paragyan po niyo ng witness, papirmahan po ninyo, para mag -ma maging mas malakas. No? Pero hindi ko sinasabing hindi. Hindi yan siya sapat. Okay na yan siya, pero mas better po na meron pong pirma na nakawitness sa pagbayad at pagpirma nila na pagbigay ng, ng tiyatawag nating resibo sa inyong payment. Okay? So, yes. Uh, thank you for that, Norma Flores 455. And si John Mark Refuela, Hello sir, I am OFW. Gusto ko po i-process ang lupa na bili ko. Patay na po may ari. Pwede ba ako magpatulong sa PAO para mag-guide ang binigyan ko ng SPA? Mahirap po no? Kasi, uh, you know, the public attorney's office, yes, of course they could help. Uh, wala akong problema dyan. And in fact, I will be grateful if they will help. However, sa voluminous work nila and sa workloads nila sa korte, baka hindi ko yung mabigyan ng saktong um, attention. And sa suggestion ko po kung hindi naman kaya pag mag, para sa pagpagalaw at pagpaano, meron kayong pwedeng lapitan na IVP Legal Aid Offices. Medyo hindi mabigat ang workloads nila. Although free legal service din sila, hindi masyado mabigat. And maybe they could uh, guide you or look for some lawyers that would help you or give and advise you na kung paano mag-guide sa inyo on what to do. Meron may mga pro bono lawyers na gumagawa ng ganyan. Okay? Take note of that. Take note of that. Answer during our live, January 21, 22. Um, sir, I may know your office address. I like it. Well said. May I know your contact number mo? Okay. Well, if if you, you wanted to 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 talk to me, aside from the As I've done the Facebook, no? na Attorney Raymond, but to, well, you could search me in Google. No? Maybe you could uh, get the contact number there and talk to, set an appointment to for a talk. No? All right. Silani Pangantion. Good day, Attorney. Required po ba ang AGS para magbayad ng estate tax? Kung namatay ang resident, May 22. Of course, uh, Ano talaga siya? Required po siya ang extrajudicial settlement. Uh, kung namatay May 22. Yes, the rule is that yan talaga ang basis para po makapakompute. However, may exception lang doon sa batas natin ng 
yung pinaka-recent law on estate tax amnesty, wherein kung nag-aaway po ng mga kapatid or mga heirs, ayaw po magpirma yung isa dahil bataas ang ihi, eh, medyo merong, merong pride, ego, eh paano yan? Itatakbo ng amnesty and what will happen now? So, baka maabutan kayo matapos na yung deadline. So, sabi ng batas na yun, is pwede pong magbayad kahit walang AGS. Magaya, magawa lang ng sworn statement on the extent of the estate para yun ang magbibis. Kung may kulang, dito rin bayaran. Yun ang technique ng batas para makapagbayad. Daw, kung wala kang AGS, hindi ka talaga makakuha ng ECAR. Pero at least, meron ka ng resibo bayad ng estate. Tax yun naman ang hinahabol ng kanamihan. However, uh, in after that uh, May 31, 2022 na coverage ng estate tax amnesty. After that, wala pong sinabi sa batas na progress, uh, prospective siya na it would also affect the future uh, debts no? like in 2023-2024. So therefore, it would be very important na kailangan po ng extrajudicial settlement. Sabi ko nga eh, um, the law says ng estate tax amnesty is that binigyan nyo ng choice ang mga tao na kung hindi nagkakaayos, eh, pwede bayaran kahit walang AGS. Pero hindi naman sinabi na prospective ang application niya doon po sa uh, mamatay ngayon. Wala mang sinabi. So, uh, as long as the law di- does not distinguish, hindi natin pwede po insist na pwede yun because the employees would always say, well, we need the AGS. Um, kung na-cover ka lang sa estate tax amnesty, pwede walang AGS pag nag kayo. Pero what if kung after the estate tax amnesty na coverage, eh nag kayo. Eh, wala naman sinabi na prospective application. So, that's the problem. That's why this is one of those that I'm going to... Uh, well, I hope I could refer this to Senator Bato de la Rosa para papakapag-usap kami on these matters. No? Maybe ma-explain ko lang ba. Uh, I hope to see him one of these. Parati naman siya nasa Davao. No? Na yung pinsan ko sa balat. Tawag ko sa isa. Tawag namin sa isa. Okay. Hello, attorney. Good morning. Si May Isabel Makapung. And now, I will go back to the the chats, no? So that, uh, para makapagsagot ako kay eh, kanina pa ito sila. And, yes, uh, I will try to greet everyone. Let's see. There it is. Oh, Archie Marams. Good afternoon. Archie, hello. Kumusta? And si Ann Thomas. Uh, magandang tanghali, attorney. Ako po si Ruben Ligpit. from Pangasinan. May katangon lang po ako tungkol sa lupa. Well, if you, eh, if I always remember Pangasinan. Ay masarap talaga yung kanilang bagoong, uh, pang, bagoong ng Pangasinan. Oh, wow. Super duper. Oh, si Ferdinand Valencia Imperial. Number one ka ngayon, Ferdi, ha? Ikaw ang tampuan. Ikaw ang number one sa pasok. No? And si uh, Beth Belunta. Good afternoon po. Thank you for sharing. Dami pong learning. Salamat ha, Ma'am Beth Belunta. Thank you for that kind comment of yours. Okay. Si Noreen. Hi, attorney. Hi, sir. Finally, makaten ako ulit. <laughs> okay, long time. Oo nga, Noreen. No? Uh, salamat in advance po sa sagot. Pwede po ba mapasara ng government housing ang existing bridge at government road sa likod nito? Bridge lang active yon. Yung road needs to be developed. Hindi pa po approved ng gov- ang government housing. Paano po? Masara, no? Because um, it's only the national government that could have it closed, especially the DPWH. No? There must be an order for its closure, for repair, etc. This is the only way, no? It's not the government housing ang pwedeng magpasara. Maybe, pwede sila mag-request sa DPWH to close it down. But, a motopropia or on their own lang, eh, hindi pwede. Yeah, hindi pwede. They have to, they have to consider the meron pong mga uh, protocols po sa government. And may hierarchy po. No? Kung sino pong government agency na dapat magpa, magpa sara na ganito for purposes of prepare. Okay, si Mercy Humbert. Hello? Hello, ma'am. Kumusta po? Uh, the bridge of the road serves as a passage for farmers, workers, which is the right of way because in Parnland po, yun nga eh, uh, maybe you could uh, write them a letter. You, you, you could go to a lawyer and send a letter inquiry on on what basis, on what right do they have to close this uh, road for passageway. No? Hindi man, they cannot close it. Basta-basta. Eh, delikado sila niyan. Baka ang 
baka maumbudsman pa sila. Okay? Take note of that. Hermes to be good afternoon attorney. Marami po ako ang tatanong sa iyo dito sa lugar namin. Sa totoo lang attorney, lumakas ang loob ko sa mga lectures mo. Marami ako tutunan sa iyo. Maraming salamat talaga attorney. Thank you also for uh, the confidence no. Um well, I am trying my best. And and marami po mga questions po doon sa comment sections na yung mga sulat po ninyo sa akin, hindi po na sasagot talaga. Kasi very impossible po talaga masagot sa dami-dami sa Facebook, uh, sa Messenger, halos hindi ko masagot lahat. Very difficult for me. Um, I'm trying my best, no? Best efforts lang po talaga sa matimingan ng pag-open ko. Wala akong ginagawa, no? And dami po, uh, aside from having this kind of program, meron din po akong work sa law office. I'm the managing partner of Batu Law Firm and um, Batu and Partners. And maraming cases kami. And nagpa-practice pa po ako for litigation purposes, etc. So, uh, ito lang yung passion and desire ko to help to extend my 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 modest knowledge nga sa inyo para naman makatulong but sige lang po uh, i will try my best kapag uh, maplastada ko na itong mga bata ko ng mga abogado na uh, maka proceed na sila on their own without so much supervision on my part malay nyo baka maging mag-focus na ako dito sa ating public service kasi on my part uh, i want to give back already no i am in at a time na parang well uh Okay na ako. Ibig sabihin, tulong na naman tayo. Ferdinand, nagmag-message po ako, Attorney Batu. Magkaroon po ako tungkol sa topic nyo ngayong lecture. Salaman po. Sige, Ferd, doon sa Attorney Batu. But maybe bukas ko pa masagot, Ferdy, ha? Okay. Yes, sir, may pwede ka po mag-send sa messenger. But you have to identify yourself na ikaw si Hermes sa tubig, ha? So that I could remember na ikaw yung magusto mag, ano, na mag, ano. Yan, kung personal case po ng ganyan, hindi po natin pwede discuss dito. public no live kasi uh, may rule tayo ng subjudice so but we could talk it personally tayong dalawa pero kung may lawyer kayo i might not give you advice but i will see kung what is the status of the case i could just talk no but hindi siguro uh, in detail kapag meron pa kayong abogado okay nakaabot din ako ng bisan lecture shout out po sa mga katanuan oh katanuan assessor's office hello si architect turista Wow, ah, taga Assessor's Office, sir. Salamat po. Uh, ma- salamat po kung taga, taga Assessor's Office ng Katanuan. Um, shout out po sa inyong lahat. No? Okay. Uh, greeting, sabi ni Pilihia Corpus. Ano ano po tawag dyan? Post-mortem thumbprint? <laughs> Oo nga, no? pwede ba yung post-mortem thumbprint? Ah, may gali. Talaga. Ay, nagulat kasi talaga ako, uh, Piraji, kasi... When I saw it, tabang nag-research ako, ano kayong topic ko? No? Because I was thinking of creating a lecture series on donations. Kasi meron tayong donations uh, intervibos, morti, donation mortis causa. <laughs> meron pa tayong revocation of donation, ano yung mga grounds ba? So I was trying to think na dito ako. Along the way, <laughs> nakita ko yung video nyo yun, no? nag-viral pa yung 2021. Karabi naman yun. Sobra, no? Weird. Success! Uy! Success, ha? Nice to see you again here live. Yes, success, Aura. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, I was absent last week. Uh, medyo sama. Tsaka, hindi maganda ang weather dito sa Davao. Well, actually, sa amin, pag mag-ulan-ulan dito, hindi na maganda ang weather. Hindi kami sanay sa bagyo. Eh. <laughs> Takot kami. <laughs> Malakas na yung hangin yan. Feeling namin, bagyo na. All right. Good PM Attorney Batu. Na late. It's okay, Carmelo Desio. Basta, ang importante is nandito po tayo. Okay. And then, si Pilaji, part 1 attorney, may concern po ako regarding identity theft. Nawala po yung cellphone ko and yung new house po namin ang inisip kami kumukuha. She made a new account using my name. Oh my gosh. At ang problema pa niyan, baka nang hiram na ng pera. No? But uh, she made an FB account using my name and added a people from my friends list. Registered po po number ko. Worry po ako baka gamitin. Yes, definitely. Marami niyan, manghihiram ng pera. Um, dahil baka lalo na pag kilala na rin niya kung sino yung mga kaibigan mo tas she knows how you interact with them let's say you call them dahil mga friends dahil tulungan mo ko dito dahil ano? eh hey, baka mag chat chat na dahil padala mo na ako ng gcash dyan dahil kasi wala akong ano kay emergency lang eh nagpadala rin marami pong situations ganyan yung aking friend na doktor na dentista ayan talagang maraming naka dumating no 
ng mga chat mess. Buti na lang, dum- dumating sa akin yung chat niya, manghiram siya ng pera. Sabi ko, ang dami-dami pera nito. Bakit manghiram? Teka nga, tawagan ko. Sabi niya, hindi ako yan, hindi ako. <laughs> Buti na lang na ganun. Marami po. So, be very careful po tayo kapag malaman ang ating passwords and everything sa account. Marami po, no? Hindi lang kay... Pwede nga nila nakawin ang profile picture mo and they will create a new account and they will try to add some people. Well, ang atin na lang po, sa tayo po mga end users na nakakatanggap ng mga chat or PM or mga text messages on that, just be, be careful. Before natin, pag mayroong hiningi, automatic, tawagan. Para klaro ba, ikaw ba talaga ito? Ano bang problema mo nangyari? Huwag yung sagutin mo lang nung by way of chat din. No? I know how busy we are, but we have to also to protect ourselves. We become also uh, diligent enough to to check no? ang, ang mga messages na yan, kung legit ba o hindi. And Severino Sabes, Oy, Severino, kumusta po? Yes, oo, medyo na ano ako, nagkasakit ako last time. no And super busy talaga, brads. Ah, uh, yeah, but um, minsan nga, papalag na rin aking mga kamag-anak, mga pamilya ko dito. Wala na daw akong time sa kanila, pati Sunday daw. Pero sige lang. Um, I'm, I'm trying to reset it sana in the morning para sa hapon makapag makalakwat sa naman kami ng pamilya ko. Okay. Si Plor Penalba. Hello, Ma'am Plor Penalba. Good day po sa inyo. Kumusta? Si Edwin Escudero, merong naiwang lote ang tuwin ko. Walang anak at asawa. Okay, single siya. Meron pong squatter sa lote niya. Pero ano po palisin at sino pwede mag-file ng casa court sa heirs niya? Well, ang heirs po ng tiyuhin niyo. So, kung wala siyang anak at asawa, may mga kapatid siya. Kung may mga kapatid siya na patay na rin, yung mga anak na kapatid niya. Kasi sila man ang mga tagapagmana ng property. O even only one can do it. No? A co-heir. No? Pero... Pag mag-file ng ejectment or recovery of possession, papalis sa kanila. Isagay po talaga sa complaint, ha? huwag makalimutan, that I am doing this as a co-heir or co-owner of the property, but for and behalf of everyone. Hindi po personal interest. Kasi pag personal interest yan, may tendency po madidismiss yan. Kahanapin yung indispensable party sa ibang co-owners. But if you do it for the benefit of all the co-owners, kahit ikaw lang isang mag-file ng kaso, pwede po. Yan po ang sabi ng Supreme Court in one uh, decision, no? Pero Supreme Court. Hermisa, okay, marami dito. Uh, medyo, ano yata ito, baka na, na virus itong kay Hermisa. Marami na, tan, nasabi na ito. Hello, Hermisa. PM, PM mo lang ako sa, ano, sa Facebook, okay? At early, sabi ni Clemente, good PM, ask ko lang po, meron po akong adverse position na lote for 30 years. 30 years. katabi po ng title property ko. Meron po ba akong karapatan mag-claim ng ownership? Well, wala namang problema. Depende po anong klaseng property, no? If uh, you, that property is uh, agricultural, as long as hindi ka maglampas sa 5 hectare limit, and residential or uh, residential or agricultural, no? So, pwede naman po apply ng patent po. Kung 30 years adverse possession without any uh, disturbance, uh, malinis ang occupation nyo, walang nanggugulo sa inyo, peaceful, yan, notorious sa ataw. <laughs> Then you could apply for a patent. No problem. Pwede po. It doesn't mean nakapag-title sa inyo, hindi ka na pwede mag-apply. Pwede pa po mag-apply. Okay? So, take note of that. So, Felix, meron pong ibineta ang mga kapatid na lupa namin. Tatlong brothers, two are deceased. Now, the buyer claiming that the lot was sold as a whole, Have I the right to claim my share was sold when I was abroad? Of course, definitely. Hindi naman, kung nagbenta sila, din kanilang interstate share lang. It's not the whole property because you did not sign. Basic po yan. Kapag co-owners tayo sa property at hindi tayo nakapagpirma, hindi ka po kasali void ang transaction. If he claims that it is for the whole property, eh, you could have it voided. Wala, panalo ka dyan, Felix. Wala ang problema. Lapit ka lang sa uh, isang mapagkatiwalaan yung abogado dyan sa lugar. Okay. Attorney, meron kaming tax declaration mula sa kanunuan pa at posisyon talaga kami dito. Totoo lang talaga ang sinasabing marami dito saying land scam, lalo na sa isang opisyal na gobyerno ang umaangkin, sabi niya Hermisa Tubig. Well, if you know how to enforce your right, alam mo mga karapatan mo, paglaban mo. Because if you keep silent and you do not do anything about it, well, talo tayo dyan. 
paglaban po natin kapag may katarungan, oh, <laughs> 'di ba? Sabi ni Ano ba yan? Di ator ni, di ba? Pag may katarungan, ipaglaban mo. Totoo yan. That's true. That's true. Very, very true. Okay. At yun ask ko lang po, ano po ang ways ma-protect ang mga heirs from relatives who live in parents' property for more than 40 years na may interest po sa property? Per parent, yung property po ay po his grandson. Okay. Paano ma-protect ang mga heirs from relatives who live in parents' property? Well, It, there, ang pinakamaganda po niyan success is to make ko talaga pwede ha nakatira lang sila tapos mamaya pag mamatay na yung parents ayaw na umalis di ba? <laughs> tapos kayong mga anak or mga nephews syempre matatanda sila eh, syempre, ay mga apo lang kayo mapamangkin <laughs> alam yan nakatira kami dito pinatira kami ng parents niyo dito hanggang buhay kami well I would suggest kung buhay pa po ang parents niyo at pinatira niya yung mga relatives no? and of course right nila yan Dahil buhay pa sila, they can do anything about the property. But they have to understand that they, they die, ito transfer din na yan sa inyo. So somehow, they must protect the yung equate interest ninyo. Pinakamaganda to advice is that pa, ma, gawa po kayo ng kasulatan sa mga relatives that ito po is, ang pagpatira na sa kanila is uh, by tolerance, walang rent and everything. But at the time comes when you need it or your heirs will need it, they will have to vacate within a certain period of time. Mas pabuti yung may kasulatan. <coughs> wag na po yung sulat sa tubig. <coughs> yung verbal-verbal. wag na. Wag na yung may kasulatan. Hindi naman yan nakakapangit. No? Hindi naman yan naninigurista. Eh, that is how uh, civilized people works no? and do. And act. No? So, dapat yun po ang gawin natin. Civilized people tayo, then we do that. we enter into an agreement kawat ang sulatan. Keep lang natin. Wala naman tayong away. Basta sabihin na natin, pagkailangan ko na, alis na lang po kayo. Parang yun na pong ebidensya. Okay. Take that of that. Kennedy. Good day, attorney. Ano yung mga possible ground na pwedeng mabawi ang lupa dahil di nakapagbayad ng tax 20 years? Ayun po ang ano. Uh, yes, babawi ang lupa dahil hindi nakapagbayad. Ano po, kapag hindi ka pa nakabayad ng real property tax or yung may horas or a milyar, ang may right po mag uh, sale to public auction sa property ninyo would be the ano, would be the with the city government. And from there, pag city or municipal or provincial government. But kung wala silang action na gagawin, no, walang problema. May sa may utang ka pa lang din, no? Usually, they give first, second, third notice and final notice. No? Now, pag hindi mo pa rin magawa yan at talagang ibirahin nila at sell nila sa public auction under the uh, local government code, no? Republic Act 7160, uh, meron po silang right na gawin yan. However, pag bentahan yan, eh, meron naman di kayong one year to redeem. Pwede rin po kayong, during the time, kayo po ang mag-bid. Uh, tapos, pwede nyo po i-redeem. No? So, babapawi po yan. Ang usapan lang talaga ito, pera-pera lang. Pag may pera pang bayad, mabawi yan. Surely, the government is not interested on the property. They need cash liquid. Eh. Yun ang target nila dyan, yung cash, yung liquidity, not the assets. Diba? So, bayaran lang po. That is the most important thing to do, is to pay. Okay. Sige. Um... Magandang tanghali po, attorney, sabi ni Marlon Cuevas. Maliban sa paglobo ng estate tax, ano po mangyari kung matagal hindi na si kaso ang pagpatitulo? Did of sale pa lang po hawak ko. Ay, nako. Sa estate tax, wala kang problema because meron tayong estate tax amnesty. However, ang problema mo, ang did of sale, eh talagang magkakaroon ka ng penalty na 25% plus additional 25% no? compromise penalty. So akin, if there is a way na ma makagawa ng bagong deed of sale, kung patay na po sila, baka pwede extrajudicial settlement with sale by the heirs, eh, at least kahit pa paano, ma, ma, ano, ma, ma, mawala yung mga penalties mo at masikaso mo ang pagpatitulong on time. Ayun lang pamaraan na nakikita ko. But you have to ask them. It, it's not a matter of right that you could force them to do that because in the first place, gumawa na ng deed of sale noon. Sabi nila, Eh, sorry ka, bakit hindi mo itinasika? So, but 
If they are very kind enough, sabihin nila, sige po, tulungan po namin kayo. Wala nang problema yan. I-cancel lang muna natin yung sale, then gawa tayo ng EGS with sale from the airs na. Eh, okay lang. Eh, kung ilibrihin mo na sila pang Jollibee, baka ganun, okay na sila, di ba? Ganun lang po. Okay? Take note of that. And then, let us go. Si Rose Feltner, tanong po tungkol sa 7,400 square meters na agricultural property namin na merong tenant. Gusto na po namin kunin yung lupa, pero ang demand ng tenant is 250k. Well, actually, kung kunin niyo po yung lupa, for purposes na gagamitin nyo, you are dispossessing the tenant. No? It is but natural na dapat bigyan siya. Kasi kung talagang tenant talaga siya na legit, meron siya kalapatan magstay sa property to till. No? Siya po ang mag uh, ang mag 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 till ng property and magbabayad ng rental agreement sa inyo. So, i-dispossess nyo kay gagamitin nyo and everything. You have to pay him financial assistance or kung residential na ang property, hindi na siya agricultural kasi sabi mo, 7,400 square meters lang. Edi, may dispossession, bayaran natin ng disturbance compensation. Ganun naman yan. Basta importante kapag tumanggap na ng pera is that doon kay sa DAR para may waiver ba. Yung termin, voluntary termination of tenancy, tawag niyan. Nagawa ng papeles, panotarize, tapos papirma sa DAR para wala na siyang habol talaga. Together with the family, lahat sila. Tapos kaliwaan, pagbigay ng pera, alis ka agad. Eh kung malakihan po kayo sa 250,000, hingihan po nyo ng, ano po, mag-try nyo po mag-negotiate ng konting markdown. Diba? Uh, at the end of the day, uh, if you want to have a peace of mind, sometimes you have to sacrifice something in order to get a good thing. Ayan naman talaga ang buhay eh. Meron ka ibigay para meron ka matanggap. Hindi naman pwede puro kabig-kabig tayo. Diba? Alright. Okay. Ready, yeah. Okay. Alright. Kennedy Carante. Attorney, how can I reach you po? Pwede bang ikaw kunin ng legal constitution? That video ko lang. Okay na ako. Okay, Kennedy Carante. I think you have a very, very big problem. Sige lang. Um, just try to reach me doon sa Facebook, Attorney Raymond Batu. Or doon sa law firm ko. Para at least ma, no? uh, I'll just uh, talk to you. And, Attorney, meron kami tax tech. Oh, tapos na ito. Success. Attorney, yun pong close property won through pag-ibig bidding ni anak. As requested by father was paid in full by father ano po yung ways para maisali yung title kay father without paying transfer tax mm, hirap eh uh, may meron talaga <laughs> kung i-transfer kay papa eh talagang kung maano po sa kanya may kakaroon po talaga ng sale transaction so meron transfer no now I understand what you are getting into no I think what you are trying to say is uh what shall we do in situations like this, considering that um, ang or totoo namang may ari si Papa, so dapat, uh, pag mamatay si Papa, di, marami rin, may mga heirs siya. No? Well, for the meantime, siguro, is uh, gagawa na lang po, no, para meron lang tang, meron lang tang evidence to prove na kanya talaga yan, magawa po kayo ng trust agreement, no, acknowledgement of trust, wherein the, the titled owner, yung anak, would acknowledge that it was only named after her, no? Or registered under her. But the true and real owner of this is the father. Parang title lang siya. Uh, by name, no? But ownership pertains to the father. And that at the time that this, uh, uh, the father will demand for a transfer of title under her name or the heirs of the father, she will oblige to do it. Pwede ganun eh. I don't know. Just to have it uh, somehow, uh, some sort of kind of protection. No? That part. Okay, senior Brickbayan asking for a friend, how long does it take to evict squatters? Wow, that is a very... Dito sa Dabao, ang tagal. Ano, um, mahirap pang paibig ng squatters dito. But, supposedly, kung meron pong decision, uh, ejectment case, no? Actually, dapat six months time. Meron ng decision. Meron talaga dito sa Dabo nangyayari yan. However, yung pagpapalis. It's how you how you you engage the task force demolition. The, uh, ala, ma, 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 matagal. Matagal talaga. Especially when you talk about aggravation of people, yung marami na masyado. Ayan. 
So akin, ang technique ko, uh, what I do is that before I will uh, try to to eject these people, I need to talk to them. Eh, for all you know, baka ang sadya lang naman nila is that baka pwedeng mabayaran lang man sila sa kanilang or maghingi ng financial assistance. Mga ganun. So that, uh, ako, meron ako one time, certain area, ang daming squatters. So kinausap ko through the barangay. Sabi ko, Palab, you want to add into property. Whether we like it or not, talagang mapapalis kayo now. Merong opera may ari ng financial assistance. Okay po yan, attorney. Sige. So, ano nangyari? Uh, kariwaan. Pagbigay ng pera, giba ang bahay. Kariwaan, giba ang bahay. Ganun nangyari. No? So, okay yon. But ang akin kasi yung just to remove them without trying to help them out to relocate, kahit na mali yung ginawa nila. Okay yon. Tama man yun. Pero... Sa akin, uh, human relations pa. We also have to understand na uh, if we go in good faith and begin sila ng kahit konti, hindi naman malaki. Hindi naman sila pwede mag-demand ng super malaki, di ba? So, how long it takes? That depends. Napakatagal pa. Depende sa diskarte ng abogado nyo, ng legal team ninyo. Okay, Felix, thank you also for watching. And si Jenny, Gutierrez Channel at Good Attorney watching from Singapore. May expiry mo ba ang deed of absolute sale? Magkano pong penalty kasi 2019 pa pero updated naman ang buwis. No time lang magpa-transfer. Well, hindi po nag-expire ang deed of absolute sale. Kaya lang, nagkakaroon ka ng penalty pag gamitin mo yung 2019 deed of sale mo para ipatransfer ang title. Kasi sa capital gain tax and docs stamps, pasok ka na. Penalty na yan. Sa transfer tax, pasok ka na. Hindi, walang question yung buwis na real property tax a milyar, eh, updated. Good na yon But the purposes of transfer, that's the different thing. So ako, suggestion ko, better talk to the owner and redraft again a new deed of absolute sale. Tapos, pag makagawa na po kayo ng deed of sale, process nyo na po kagad. Huwag na po patagal-tagal. Imagine, ha, from the time of the sale, you have only 30 days within which to pay the capital gain tax. 6%, di ba? Doc stamp, every fifth day of the month, which is 1.5%. Wag po natin patagalin. Okay? Felix, sabi ni Felix, agriculture not owned by my grandfather, taken by Cloa, but was advised by social office that they did not pay the tax, advice also to claim back the lot from Cloa. I am not sure with this Felix na ganun. Taken by Cloa, taken by Dar. Okay, clarify po doon natin. Dar siguro, hindi Cloa. And si Success, thank you so much. Ah, thank you rin. No problem. Anytime yan, my dear. And thank you so much, attorney, na reply ka sa comment ko. Yes, Kennedy, all the time. And attorney, may tanong po ako, sabi ni Flor. Yung property was declared ng no improvement. Kasi nasunog po yun dati. Tapos, kumuha po ang tita ko ng no improvement. Binigyan po siya ng certification of no improvement. Okay. Ng assessor's office. Correct. Pero po, pag titingnan po sa Google, may tindahan na po kasi doon. Requirement po kasi yung BR para po sa estate tax. Magka problema po, kabi pa ganun? Yes. Kasi may improvement kayo. Dapat, yung tindahan na yung na maliit, i-declare nyo sa city assessors para i-assess nila. In most cases, kung maliit lang yung tindahan yan, zero ang value rin yan. Pero magkakaroon kayo ng uh, tax declaration or on buildings. di ba So, ibig sabihin, sa building or improvement, meron kayong tax. De, kahit na mababa ang kanyang, wala siyang market value, zero ba market value niya, or maliit lang, wala man siyang assess. Importante, meron na po kayong tax declaration. And you present that to the BAR, hindi rin lang makukumputan, kasi zero man. But, nevertheless, required po yan, na talagang meron po tayong uh, yung tax declaration ng building. Kapag may improvement, You know, mag with the Google Maps ganyan because the BAR could see it now. O sabi mo, walang improvement. Meron pala improvement. Ah, hindi pwede yan. Ipa, ipa ano mo na, ipa declare mo ng improvement din sa city assessors. At na ma-assess nila. Gawin nyo po yun. Gawin nyo po yun. Sometimes nga, ang BAR dito sa Davao City, they really would go to the place physically. Personally pala, personally. And inspect kung meron talaga improvement. Hindi ba? 
Sabi po kasi sa BR, sa Google po sila tingin kaya po, Google po namin. Sabi po ng tita ko, ibinigyan daw siya. No, it, it doesn't matter if binigyan siya ng certification. The fact na meron, it only presuppose that meron talaga improvement. Ipadeclare nyo po yan. Otherwise, magkakaproblema talaga kayo. Okay, si Ann Tomas. At hindi may tanong po ako. Kinasuhan po kami sa lupang kintilikan ng bahay namin. Yung nagkaso, hindi siya ang amo namin. Naka... Kuha siya ng titulo niya. Paano po dapat gawin namin? Sige, add mo ako, Ann Tomas, no? and maybe to. Kasi medyo broad ang question mo. Paano nangyari na pakasuhan kayo? Sino ba may ari at paano niya napatituluhan? Kayo ba? Untitled ba yan o titled na ba dati, no? Yad mo ako sa Facebook, uh, Attorney Raymond Bato, and I, I, will, I will answer your question. Alright, so I think there are no more questions. Um, guys, uh, salamat, no? I will close the chat box now. Salamat po for attending our lecture and it's already 1.10. We are about more than an hour for this uh, episode. I'll try my best po, no? Baka, ang, I think, hindi ko talaga mag magawa yung, yung random na every Sunday at uh, every Sunday at uh, 3 o'clock to 5, no? Uh, you know, the family is requesting time for me also. But I will try to make randoms on Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, kahit na 30 minutes to 1 hour just to talk with you. Tapos kung meron kayong matanong, maybe I could answer that, no? But on the Facebook page, kung matimingan, as a Facebook na, turn your Raymond, ba't ito? Pag makita ko na naka-green ka doon, I'll try to call you. Okay? So, yung iba pong hindi ko po, po na... binigyan, uh, nas, nasagot. Pasensya na po. Ha? Talagang very busy lang po at saka talaga best efforts lang. Si Berong nag-request sa akin ng mga documents, samples and everything na hindi ko pa nabibigay. I'm sorry po. Ha? Medyo talagang busy. Best efforts po. I will try my best. Pag hindi na po busy, isend ko pa agad yan. Okay? So, thank you so much po for uh, watching and maraming salamat. Have a nice Sunday. Happy Sunday. God bless you all.